Oh, hush, man. Can we say hallelujah? <laughs> Can we say hallelujah? Thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time, baby. He good all the time. Ain't he good? Y'all about to snatch this lace off my head. I know that. Because this glue ain't getting it. This ain't the right type of stuff she got going on with my head. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And my daughter, she on her way back home. She is. She, they on the road. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is so good. Girl. God is so good. Baby, I want to just... I already had the tears flowing, so I ain't want to do it on the live. Because I want y'all to be like, oh, she always crying. She always crying. <laughs> she always crying. But God is so good. <laughs> Let me just put that out there. Hallelujah. Okay? God is an awesome God. Let me tell y'all. Y'all better praise him. Y'all better... Y'all better give God the praise. I don't care what's going on in your life and what's what's happening. Be patient. God says, sit still and be patient and wait. Because he going to do it for you, girl. He going to do it. He going to do it for you, okay? Oh, my God. I'm about to... God is so good to me, y'all. I can't even help it but say God is so good. Oh, I'm about to get the lag because I said I wasn't going to cry. I already did the tears already, y'all. I didn't want to come on here and cry, though. But God is so good. I can't even help it. It's just flowing like... God is so amazing. Like, he is so good to me. Y'all, God is so good to me. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? God is so good to me. Like, to me. To me. He never disappointed. I'm like, Shay, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I'm like, Shay, and you didn't disappoint me, Jesus. God is so good and he didn't disappoint me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, this is something to be praising God about. Y'all might not understand it, but just don't worry about it. Just praise God. Just make, just make God your number one priority in life. Just do that. How about that? <laughs> How about just make God your number one priority in life? How about you be still and let God do your work? How about you be still and let God take over your life? How about you be still and not try to fight your own battles? <laughs> How about you be still? Okay? Be still and let God take care of all your worries because you ain't got to worry. All you got to do is pray. <laughs> do y'all hear what I'm saying? These are tears of joy. Like, for real, God is so good to me when i say <laughs> he fight all my battles and win all my cases y'all <laughs> god is so girl i'm about to pull over girl i'm about to pull over oh my god i'm about to pull over hallelujah thank you jesus let me pull over baby i gotta stop hold on hold on oh god is so i just needed to leave the place be still be still and won't he do it <laughs> Won't he do it, girl? Won't he do it? Listen, I don't care what the world say, what nobody say. I'm not here for this world. I'm just in this world until God say my time is up. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Pray. Give it to God. Don't worry about it. I'm just getting in. But I see you in tears. Baby, God is so good. You hear me? <laughs> Baby, God is so amazing. Who would have ever known? Y'all, I'm telling y'all. Y'all worry about these men, the best relationship. <laughs> the best relationship is to have is with God. I'm telling y'all. The best relationship is to have is with the Lord Himself. Because if it's not Him, then who is it what are you doing why are you wasting your life why are you wasting your time what are you doing with yourself girl god said he's calling each and every one of his children to his hands the palm of his hands and all he wants y'all to do is call him problems solved worries gone you hear me i did not worry you said read up i did not worry the bible says be still and know that i am god in the name of jesus do you hear me vanessa <laughs> yes he did girl yes he did yes he did he said that he said that and he do exactly what he said he gonna do he would never fail forsake or leave nothing he would never stop loving like this is real freaking life y'all i am experiencing i have experienced so much stuff in my life in the past years oh my god do y'all know yes y'all do know i don't even have to explain it I, i've been through so freaking much y'all and for god to bless me like this today 
for me to hear the words I heard today. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, y'all. I'm laughing at the same time. I don't know how I'm doing this. But this is God's my God. Don't judge me. I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. This is so. Oh, this is amazing. Today is really a good day. Like. I woke up feeling good, right? I woke up with Nana crawling all over the bed looking for a pacifier, first of all. Praise God. My grandbaby is seven months today. Thank you, Jesus, for another month for my grandbaby and for me being here to live, to see her, live her life and grow up. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, touch my enemies, Lord Jesus. Lord, bless their hearts. Put love in their hearts, Lord. Let them know that you love them and I do too. In the blood of Jesus, there's no worries. Let them know know to stop all the evilness because it's not worth it listen <laughs> life is really short y'all understand i have lost two husbands y'all what do you think my mind is at right now what do y'all think my mind is at? yeah i look strong i keep it strong i got children remember that right but god today said no no more worries for you my child it's over <laughs> like for real i just want to live in peace I just want to live in peace like that's it and he is doing that for me god is doing that for me he is putting me in a peaceful place to where i have to worry about nothing do y'all hear what i'm saying god is so real life is very short it is i am so thankful i am so thankful y'all i don't even know what to do with myself but just go home and drop to my knees and shut the lights off and just scream hallelujah thank you jesus lord i love you and talk to him and let him continue to walk with me and hold his hand because i have never ever let him go and if I straight away once or twice, he kept holding on to me. He kept a hold to me. He never let me go. He never forsake me. He never disappointed me. But I may have disappointed him, but I took a stand of that. I I I took a stand of that and I, I asked God to forgive me for my sins and whatever it was. You got understand where I'm coming from? Y'all, God is so real. Real. He's so real. I've been through so Y'all, I've been through so much in my life. If I was in my shoes, you wouldn't imagine the shit that I had to endure in my life. Honestly, from my first marriage to my second, it was crazy. But right now, I am so free to where I must keep myself free. I don't want to be in no other man's arms. Yeah, I may say this and play this and play that and talk to somebody, but it's not going nowhere. Trust me, because the only man I need in my life is God, and that's it. Everybody else may be a friend, just a conversation over the phone, and it's not going to go no further. Y'all don't want y'all to get anything misunderstood, because y'all going to see me every day. Y'all see my life. No, I am not going nowhere. I'm going not straight away. I'm not straight away. And he said he would never leave you nor forsake you. Trust and believe. <laughs> you know, I know. He never lied. He doesn't tell a story. He doesn't lie. It's not a lie. He never, he did not shame me. You hear me? <coughs> I gotta go home. I gotta go home. He did not shame me. He did not. He did not disappoint me. I, <laughs> he did not disappoint me. God is so good, y'all. Y'all don't even know I could drive home. God is so good. I can't because you know why? God is my strength. I can't. I got this. God is my strength. And I know today was the day it was meant for me to know that I am not never alone. That I am not never alone. That I have not sat still and been patient all this time for nothing. I have done this for a reason. God was by my side no matter what. I knew this already. I already knew this because my faith is bigger than this world. Honestly. My faith is bigger than this world could ever be, right? So just know that God is so good. Like He has blessed me today. I got the best. I'm talking about y'all. The news I got today. No more worries. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about anything, y'all. Y'all. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all 
a lot of people that already know me know what I was going through with this situation with my with my husband that just passed away and the things that I had to do, the things that I was going through. And, and, and the, I, I, yeah, I don't think it's meant for everybody because everybody is not for me, for me to say it on this live. But I do um, I do talk to my real supporters and I do let them know what's really going on with me. So I don't think it's important for me to say it right here because I just felt that in my spirit right now. But just know that God is, in the, God is a good guy. He's in the making of blessing a lot of you if you just obey and pay attention and believe in him. That's it. And, and, and live his word. That's it. Live his word. Do the right thing in life. Be honest with yourself. And that way you can be honest with other people. That's it. Just be loyal to yourself. And you can be loyal to other people. And you'll definitely be loyal to God. That's it. And I'm going to tell you this too right now. And if you don't want to hear anything about the, my Lord Jesus Christ God. You don't. You, this is not for you. But what I can say to you is that you're living the wrong life. It's a scary world you're living in if you don't believe him. If you don't believe in him and you don't see him, you're living a scary life. And I, I, I feel really bad for you. And what I would do is pray for this platform to just to make sure and to be sure that everyone will know God, will, will know God. We'll know who God is. So you come to my platform, you're going to know who God is because I'm going to speak of him. You understand? We're gonna, I'm going to speak of him. I'm going to let you know and make sure that you know who he is. It's not going to be no sad ways and no sad talk. You're going to know who God is if you come to my page. Okay? So I don't want nobody ever telling me, oh, this is she, this is that, this is that. Who's God? Who's God? This and that. Because I already heard that so many times from my deceased husband, the second one, the, the Mexican. I heard that so many times from him. It bothered me to the core. But God knew my heart. God knew that I was the praying wife. Look at my lace, y'all. I don't care for it. God knew that I was a praying wife. God knew that I stood for him. God knew any time that David said, who you think, of, who you think you praying to the clouds? Who, who up there? Ain't no God up there. He's in my heart. See, that's what he didn't understand. But I was trying to get him to understand that. And he couldn't never understand that because he couldn't see over what the devil had in his face. The devil had stuff in his face to make it look good, but it was all bad. And he didn't realize that. So the devil took his life and took him to the grave. You see what he did to him? You see how he made him look? You see how the devil made him look like the devil? You see that David left there looking like Satan? He left there looking like Satan. So play with God if you want to and not know that there is a God. You're going to suffer. You're going to suffer. And I'm here to warn you that you're going to suffer. Because I watched my husband suffer. You know what, you know what they say, you know what it says in the Bible? Let me tell you what it says in the Bible. There will be one left behind. There will be one in the beds and one, one gone. Do you know what that means? When the rapture comes, okay, if that significant other is not living by the rules of the Bible with your marriage, you will be left behind. Do y'all understand that? Do y'all understand those words? There will be one left behind he couldn't understand because he didn't have that relationship like you have. Exactly. Say it, sis. There will be one left behind if you don't get your life right. And if you think playing with God in your wife or your husband life, you think that's a game. You think that's you think it's funny. You think you look good in the street. You think you're having fun right now. But wait till the end. The devil will take you up out of here looking just like Satan. And I promise you that. I'm a living freaking witness. God put me in a position to go to the hospital to see, like my mother said, Keisha, this is for you to see. You think you're doing this in vain? You think that you're pushing yourself to do this? No. God put you in position so you can see this man and see how he just, what he did and how he's suffering. See, God won't have his people suffer like that. Only the devil will. God don't want his people touched, hurt. God don't want his people hurt. Only the devil, Satan going to do that to the people, to his people. See, if you see if you got a relationship with Satan, you better get yourself out of it. Because that's a hole. It's hard to dig out of it. Because when he get a hold to you, he don't want to let go. And see, right now, Satan know his time is going to be up. God is going to come get his people. So he working on a lot of people. Don't let him work on you. Sister, brother, don't let them work on you. Don't let them get your mind. If you know and your mind is wrong and something in the back of your head telling you don't do it, listen to that back. Don't listen to that front that's telling you do it and that's the devil. 
See, because what he told me, let me see what David told me. He said he got the devil right his shoulder. I ignored that, but I also prayed about it. I didn't want to have a conversation with him. It was a lot of red flags I overlooked because I didn't want to think like that. Because I was a praying woman and I guess God didn't let me see so much of it and suffer with him. He was suffering. And he also told me he was fighting demons. Something I had never heard before. Nobody ever say. But when he said, I was like, huh? What do you mean fight demons? I said, that's, that's dangerous. I told him, I said, that's dangerous. You better start praying. And what I did was as a wife, as a woman, as a child of God, I prayed for him. See, because he didn't ever want to pray with me. Understand. He didn't believe in God. We weren't equally yoked. It wasn't meant for me. See, God put him in my life for a lesson. You understand? A lesson. That was a lesson that I learned to see how the devil would take over your life if you let him, if you stirred the wrong way. So God let me see what was not for me. He let me see what was not for me. Do y'all understand where I'm coming from? And if not, pray about it. You will get it. The spirit is so strong right now. The spirit is so strong right now, y'all. I can't even shake it. This speech, right, this message right now, I don't even know where it came from. I wasn't ex expecting to say this. I wasn't expecting to tell y'all this. God put this on me to say this. Let me tell you something. God would talk with through you for, for somebody else. He would speak values through you for somebody else. So this must be for somebody. This must be for somebody on the live. Somebody came on here today to hear this. I don't know who, and I don't know who it's for, but I don't know wh why. And I, and I said I didn't want to cry because it's tears of joy, y'all. I'm not sad at all. There's no sad bone or bristle in my body right now. There's nothing sad about me right now. I am very much so happy. I am joyful right now. These are tears of nothing but joy. Understand that too as well. You speak it to somebody today on this left. Somebody, because I didn't even have this. I have no knowledge of this speak, of this speech right now. I have no knowledge of it. I have no, I don't even know where this came from. But today, <laughs> today, God said, you're going to talk to my people. You're going to let them know because I'm going to bless you a hundred times before. That's what he said. That's what he said. And I walked out my door today with faith. I didn't walk out by sight. I walked out with faith, baby. You hear me? I walked out knowing God going to take care of me. I walked out knowing that everything was going to be all right. I walked out knowing I had faith in him. I walked out knowing with a prayer. I walked out knowing with a loving heart. I walked out knowing that God had my back. I walked out knowing that he was walking out with me with my hand held tight to his. I walked out the house with a real clear mind, knowing that God had every step of the way for me. And I didn't have to carry myself no longer, that he was carrying me for me. That's how I walked out the house this morning. I'm going to need y'all to walk every day knowing that God is carrying you. I'm going to need you to walk every day knowing that God has something for you. I'm going to need you to walk and talk knowing that God is your savior. I'm going to need you to know that God is here for you. I'm going to need you to understand that he will never leave or forsake you. I'm going to need you to know that he is the one. He is amazing. He is awesome. He is beautiful. He is everything. He is the head of my life, the head of my household. I'm going to need you to understand you need to make God your number one priority in your life and if you don't you are living a dangerous life i'm gonna need you to know that god is the only one that can do it for you and no man on this earth or woman he said trust no one i'm gonna need you to understand that god said trust no man but him and if you do you're living a dangerous life you're living out of sight out of mind I'm going to need you to know this. I'm going to need you to know that Jesus loves you. And he loves me too. He loves us all. I'm going to need you to know at this moment in the time when you think that you're alone and no one is there to help you and you're in a bond and you're depressed, you're depressed, distressed, and unhappy. God is right there. He's waiting on you to call him. He's waiting on you to say, Lord, I need you right now. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name, in the blood of Jesus, he's waiting on you. He's waiting. He's never gone. He's right there. Put him in your heart. You will be free again. I promise you. I'm not lying. God knows my heart. I promise you.
I'm going to need you to know that life is short. But only God, the glory of God, he can save you. I'm going to need y'all to know this in the name of Jesus. What you doing? Get your Popeye. Good girl. Now lay down your pillow. Where you going? Nana, where you going? Where you going, mama? Where you going? She don't know what she want to do, y'all. She don't know what she want to do.